So the colors that you wear in your outfit can definitely dictate what type of mood that you're setting. Which I know at first may sound a little bit weird, but trust me, throughout this video, I'm going to be explaining all of that because I feel like the colors you wear in your outfits is something a lot of people overlook because this can determine a lot of things, which again, I'll be going over. Pretty much the main thing that I could say is think of the colors in your outfit as background music to a video or movie. The music that's playing in the back obviously needs to set the mood for whatever's going on. For example, right now, if I were to be playing sad music, it would definitely not fit what is going on right here. But if I turn up something a little bit more upbeat, I feel like that would set the mood a little bit better for what I'm going for in this video. That's honestly the best metaphor that I can come up with, but pretty much without wasting any more time, today I'm going to be showing you exactly which colors you should be wearing in your outfits. So I'm going to be going over a few different rule of thumbs that I like to think of when I'm choosing out the colors in my outfits. The first thing is going to be one of the most simple ones out there. It's going to be a nice little rule of thumb if you want to wear colors that are going to complement your skin tone. Now there's a few different ways of this. A lot of people like to overcomplicate this, but me personally, I like to keep everything simple. So the main rule of thumb that I'll go with this is going to be colors that contrast your skin tone. For example, I have a little bit more paler skin, so darker tones typically look best on me. I would say at least 60 or 70% of my wardrobe is going to be darker tones because this personally looks best on me. So colors like navy blue, black, even darker tones of other colors look good on me. So instead of wearing red, I'll wear something like maroon or burgundy. And instead of wearing a vibrant green, I like to go with something like a forest green. These colors look best on me because I have paler skin, but vice versa, if you have darker skin, Skin. lighter tones typically will look better on you so something like whites beiges tans even something like a light gray will look really good on you and for the most part I feel like this is what most people will stick with because it's gonna be the easiest way to complement your skin tone so as far as colors go I feel like this is gonna be the most popular way to choose all right the next way is going to be what type of mood that you're setting with your outfits now off the bat I know what you're thinking you're probably thinking that you've never went for a specific mood in your outfits and I know that because I was the same way whenever I would hear that I knew for a fact that there is no way that I was setting a certain mood with my outfits but subconsciously you really are maybe you're without even thinking about it there is definitely something that you're going for in your outfits now most of the time when people are picking out which mood they're gonna set for the outfits people mostly think of the style that they're going for whether it be dapper casual streetwear whatever but the colors play a big important role in that as well so for example me if I'm in a setting where I want to be taking a little bit more serious I typically tend to go with more darker colors again black navy any type of dark tones look best in my opinion because because it also gives you a little bit more of a mature mood in your outfits but if I'm gonna be going out with friends and I want the mood to be a little bit more lighter this is where I typically go with more vibrant colors for example beige is one of my favorite colors white's a good option even more of a lighter green light gray definitely has to be one of my favorites again it just goes on what type of mood that you're setting in your outfits so again my little rule of thumb is gonna be darker tones for a bit of a more mature setting and if you want to be taking a little bit more lightly Maybe you're gonna be hanging out with some friends. Lighter tones are gonna be a good option. All right, another big thing that I like to follow when it comes to the colors of my outfits is going to be the weather outside. Now again, most people think if the weather's cold outside, you want to layer, and if the weather's hot, you typically want to stay with just one layer, which is completely true, but you gotta think darker tones typically go more in colder seasons, and lighter tones go more in the warmer seasons. And there's a reason for that. Darker tones tend to absorb more light. So for example, if you're wearing something black outside in the heat, you're gonna feel yourself being a little bit more hotter just because all that heat's being absorbed into your shirt and I promise you you're just gonna start sweating so if it's hot outside I typically like to go with more lighter colors again something like a light blue beige tan anything like that is gonna be a good option and as the season starts to get a little bit colder that's when I'll start going into more darker tones that's why in the fall darker earth tones are gonna be more popular and in the spring you have a little bit more vibrant colors that's when you start to see palettes like baby blue some lighter greens anything like that it's more popular in the spring another question I like to ask myself when I'm deciding which colors I'm gonna be wearing today is do I want to stand out now of course when it comes to lighter tones and more vibrant colors these are gonna draw more attention so if I want to stand out I'll definitely wear some lighter tones but if it's a day where I don't really want too much attention that's when I'll go with some more darker tones because although they look very nice they're not really colors that are gonna stand out too much but for example if you're wearing something very vibrant like some sort of neon blue or green or whatever people are gonna turn to you because people are gonna be drawn to that color now typically I will say this that I'm really not one to want too much attention so typically I will stay with darker tones just because I feel like it looks nice without drawing too much attention but you know there are some days where where I do want to stand out a little bit more. On those days, I'll wear something like a beige or something to draw more attention. Now, that's exactly why in my closet, I literally have nothing that's neon green, like a hot pink or anything like that, just because I never want that much attention. But if you are feeling yourself one day and you want that attention, especially in like the summer, I've seen people pull out some vibrant pink and trust me, that would definitely get people's attention. At the end of the day, you gotta find your personal style and see which colors look best on you. And although I always say that having contrasting tones, so darker tones on me will look the best, I definitely don't stick with that every single day because they will get boring. 
I always like to switch up the colors. I always like to switch up the aesthetic. And that's exactly what I always talk about in my channel. It's always good to switch things up. Otherwise, it starts getting repetitive and boring. So yes, although 60 or 70% of my wardrobe is going to be darker tones, I definitely have some lighter tones that I like to play around with. Color blocking is also going to be really important in your outfits, seeing which colors look best. The most simple ones are going to be something like black and white, especially if you have black jeans and a white shirt and you want to wear literally any color you could throw on any type of jacket over that and no matter what color you have on it's going to look good if i am going with something very vibrant i typically like to stick to one loud piece so for example black jeans and literally any type of loud piece on top that is going to be a good option for me it's simple it's classic it looks good that's why i always wear black jeans they're my go-to but if you want to wear something like light jeans light jeans with a black top looks really good as well this one's also another classic or if you want your entire outfit to stick to one contrast light jeans with a lighter top looks really good in my opinion as well but of course like i always say you never know what you're gonna like until you try it on for yourself so if there's any colors out there that you want to try i would recommend trying just to see if you like it or not there are so many colors in my wardrobe that i thought i would never try before i would say the biggest example would be red for the longest time i literally had nothing bright red in my wardrobe but once i decided to pick up a shirt in that color i thought it didn't look that bad on me so i really do like it i'm definitely gonna pick up more pieces in that color i would say for me right now i can never see myself wearing something yellow but who knows maybe one year from today i would have 10 yellow shirts in my wardrobe so who knows like i said you never know what you're gonna like so definitely make sure to try it out but anyways other than that i hope this video did help and if it did make sure to leave a like i'd really appreciate it if you haven't subscribed already in this channel i simplify men's fashion so i'm gonna leave a button for you to do that right here and if you want to see more videos right away here are a few that i think could really help you out but anyways other than that i hope you have a great rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video later